So let's talk about a drug that can make human beings live longer and it's been given the green light to start testing. Absolutely, this drug could see human beings living to the age of 120 years old. I'm Rebecca Felgate. That's insane. And I'm Dave Wapple and this is IO. Yay! up guys, I want to hear from you. If you lived till you were 120 years old, what would you achieve in this time? Think how much Star Wars you could watch. Oh man, and I cannot wait for December 18th. Yay, do you have it like ringed in your diary? Dude, I don't even care about Christmas. I'm like, really? just Star Wars everything. I think suffice to say December is going to be a good month and it's going to get even better because we are running a competition here at IO. Mm -hmm. That's right, you guys can win t-shirts, you can win Christmas hats, you can win Star Stockings, but what do they have to do, Dave? They gotta go on over to our Instagrizzo, our Instagram. It's gonna be there in the description box below. If you're already following, awesome! Be sure to like all the photos that I'm in. But okay, so what you guys gotta do, you gotta send us photos of yourself. Maybe send some with your family. If you guys are doing something around Christmas, boom, take a selfie and send it off on to us, and you are in. You are in, and the more Christmassy, the better. The US Food and Drug Administration have given the green light for metformin to be tested on humans. But here's the thing guys, it's not going to be tested on us young bucks, it's actually going to be tested on like I think what 3,000 people I think they yep. said? Yeah, sometime next year and they're all going to be ages 70 to 80 and people who are suffering or going to be suffering from dementia. Yeah, I think they've seen whether they're likely to get cancer it, or yeah. dementia and they're going to be testing on those people who are very susceptible to those diseases. Mm. If the drug has the same effect as it had on animals during testing, some Someone who is in their 70s could have the health of somebody 20 years younger. So that means if you're 70 years old, damn mountain. But here's the thing so it looks like they've done previous testing on worms and mice. I love how they always do those first and then they immediately say, hey, let's jump to, you know, humans because we're so close, right? But for both the mice and the worms, they experienced better health. And as for the mice, they saw a 40% increase in lifespan and even livelihood. They went shopping. It was fantastic. So Metformin is already a drug that's out there in use. It's a cheap drug used for people with type 2 diabetes as apparently it helps lower their blood sugar levels. And it's good because you take it orally. You don't have to take it up the bum. That's always a positive. Yes, a positive. <laughs> <laughs> so they did a study last year and they found out that diabetics given this medication live longer than people without diabetes. Great, I feel like I want to get it now and take that pill. Seriously though, I don't actually want to get diabetes. It's a really terrible thing to live with. So it looks like metformin works by making cells more durable so they're able to receive more oxygen. They breathe in, they breathe out. Metformin may also help eradicate diseases like cancer and dementia. Ooh, that's good because we don't like any of those. Mm -mm. Here's the thing though guys, I'm a little worried about this sort of thing. I'm like, I'm wondering about the mental aspects to this because I'm like wondering, okay, if you live to 120 years old, is your brain going to crap out at like 70? You know, you know what I mean? I know what you're saying. I mean, they're saying it's going to tackle dementia, so presumably it has positive effects on the brain, but I think what we should be worrying about is perhaps overcrowding, oh, yes, aging population. population. Control. Yeah, that's going to be a big thing because if people are living to 120 years old, you know, your government's going to be like, yo, you can only have two kids in your entire lifespan. That sounds like it would make a good movie. Anyway, guys, you let us know what you thought to this story in the comments below. Do you want to live till you're 120? Do let us know. I'm Rebecca Felgate. Pretty good number. Oh, and I'm Dave Waffle, and thanks for watching, guys. If it's your first time here on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and oh yeah, check out a bunch of other videos! Yay, and good luck in our competition! Yeah, alright, see you later!